is Tim Albright with AV Nation and ISE 2017. And Lenny Paul Williams with Control 4. How are you? I'm doing great, thanks. How about you? Good. Good. Uh, uh, about almost one year ago, uh, <laughs> Control 4 announced uh, the, the acquisition of PackEdge. Um, you guys have done some really great innovations with that and, and bringing them on board with you. Uh, we talked a little bit about it at Cedia uh, back in, in, uh, in, in uh, September. And, and now you guys with the, with the RK1, you're, you're bringing Backpack in, into that. Explain to that a little bit. Yeah, so previously, um, we, Backpack is a great tool. We'll we can talk a little bit more about yeah. that, but Backpack is a great tool for our dealers. It was previously available only by purchasing an NK1 controller. Right. That controller has a dual purpose in addition to allowing the use of Backpack, was also a wireless controller. So managing the access points within an installation. Okay. Um, that was a barrier to entry for a lot of dealers because they didn't necessarily need a wireless controller in a lot of their projects. So what we've done, and we announced here, was the addition of Backpack available on, on the RK1 router. And we also made that retroactive. So all, oh, wow. the, all the dealer has to do is download the new firmware for the RK1, and they will have instant uh, RK, or Backpack access. Okay. So explain, first of all, the, 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 the addition of that to the, the, this, this product and the fact that it, you're not charging necessarily for the backpack software. Yeah, that was one of the other changes we made after the acquisition, is uh, we have more of a, of a philosophy that dealers need to have access to these, these types of tools. It's going to make them more efficient, and self-servingly here, it's going to make them really want to install our products and yeah. continue to install our networking products. So it's license-free. There's no royalties, no licensing that goes along with that backpack. The backpack software allows them to remotely manage their package, and increasingly, their Control 4 uh, network and solution, all from a single interface, and it's web-based. Well, and not, ju not just, so so the Control 4 parts are, are, you know, you can start doing that, but also you have Zigbee and, and Z-Wave. Yeah, that's one of the new additions we also made as part of the new release of software that came out this last week. Uh, we also have uh, the Backpack 4.1, and it allows the ability for dealers to, to um, manage and monitor their Zigbee and Z-Wave devices. So if there's a specific Z-Wave or Zigbee device that's in the project that's very critical to the consumer, they can manage it, and they can have them give push messages or emails when there's some problem with that device, when it goes offline or it's no longer available. All right, that right there is probably the coolest part of, of Backpack, is the ability to take a, 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 any sort of device that, that you guys are monitoring. And the, the push notification, which not to be simplistic, but if something happens, if X, then Y, right? Uh, if something happens, that software is then calling the integrator and saying, hey, something's wrong with it. And then the integrator then can turn around and proactively contact the customer. Absolutely, that changes the whole dynamic of the service with that, with that consumer. And we've already seen this and seen it pretty clearly. Um, it's a much different situation when I call the consumer and I tell them that something's occurred on their system and then tell them I'm going to come out and get it fixed. And I might tell them it's going to be four hours for me to get out there. Yeah. Now, that time doesn't change between this next dialogue, but the dynamic changes significantly. So the other end of that is the consumer calls me and says, hey, this thing is not working and I'm pretty upset because yeah. I needed to use it right now. I'm now upset and now I tell the, the homeowner it's going to be four hours before I get out there. Time didn't change but the dy dynamic of that conversation changed dramatically. And now, I'm instead of being proactive, I'm reactive. Instead of the customer being like, oh wow, you're watching out for me, and you're going to take care of my problem, to I need you here now because you're my guy and this yeah. thing's all messed up. Well, it, 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 it's, a, it's a difference um, from the, the, the homeowner's point of view and, and their attitude, you know, the, their, their mindset, Yeah. right? The, the first time, they didn't know anything was wrong necessarily, or if they did, they had just discovered it and the, the integrator and the, the AV professional can then you know, solve a problem as opposed to you know, reacting to, to their, their emergency. Absolutely, you know? yeah, that dynamic changes and it's, it's huge really for that consumer. Between the customer and our dealer relationships, it really makes that a much smoother uh, relationship. How are you, I mean, take, take me, it's, a bit, it's been a year like we talked about at the very start of this. It's been a year since you, you know, acquired Package. Where do you kind of see you know, the integration of this? Because let's be honest, control and, 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 and AV is moving more and more towards the network. So you guys bringing you know, package along with, with, with Control 4, how, where do you see that kind of going and evolving? So it's going to continue to evolve. You're going to see this, this uh, line continue to get blurred between a smart home system and the network itself. Yeah. Um, it's going to continue to blur. It, it, 
from the very beginning of our existence, the network was a critical part of that smart home, and it is today, no matter if it's our solution or anybody else's. And that's, we realized that very early on, that you had to have a very stable network. And that was thusly the reason why we acquired PackEdge, because we wanted to control that experience. We wanted to make sure that that system that was going in is the best it could possibly be. Um, what you're going to see through this integration with Control 4 and uh, PackEdge, over time is we'll continue to, to improve those tools so that I'm managing more and more of those from single points so that the, the dealer has one way to be able to interact with Control 4 and their network, to be able to be proactive, to be able to do self-healing, to be able to do notifications, and to really be able to service that, that uh, customer site efficiently, saving them time, making them more efficient, and hopefully making them more money. Yeah, absolutely, so if, if somebody's interested in getting finding out more about the, the backpack or, or how the integration with, with, this, with, the, with the switcher or you know, more information about Control 4. They can come see us at control4.com. They can also go to packedge.com to find out more about the networking. We have both products, or we actually, on the Control 4 website, we have both the PackEdge and the Control 4 products. If they're just interested in PackEdge, which is okay, they can just go to packedge.com. All right, very good. Paul Williams from, from Control 4, thank you so much, sir. Thanks, Tim. Uh, my name is Tim Albright with AV Nation. For more information about us, you can go to avnation.tv.